Hi, this is Dr. Graves from the CSUN Geography Department. This is a video tutorial to help students understand how to convert data downloaded from the census website. This is county business pattern data at the county level. It will be in this video prepared and uh, the calculation for location quotient for fast food or limited service restaurants as they're called uh, will be calculated in this tutorial and you will see how that's done using a pivot table. This video replaces an earlier video or stands in complement to an earlier video because the Census Bureau has changed the not only the download strategies but uh, the data that's included is different in a way that makes the, the earlier techniques for processing it uh, different than it is today. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is the data. There are 60, almost 64,000 rows. The data includes data from each county in the United States, plus there's a new kind of submission or a new kind of data in here that is called statewide. Uh, these non-county counties are places that don't have a physical location, so they may be um, digital businesses or mobile businesses. and. Uh, you'll notice uh, I'm scrolling to the bottom here that also included are all of the uh, non-state territories and Puerto Rico, Guam, St. Thomas Islands, and so we'll have to deal with those. Also here at the bottom we see the code for limited service restaurants and just above it we see the code for uh, establishments in all sectors so these are uh, all the businesses and those will become uh, sort of the figure ground by which we analyze the total number of limited service restaurants okay so we need to process this data so that it is usable in a pivot table and um, the Census Bureau hasn't done us uh, the favors that we would like. So there's a couple of tricks we need to do. The first thing we want to do is just to get rid of row two by clicking on the two box to the left of cell A2 and click delete just to delete that uh, extraneous data. The first thing we need to do is to process this column of data so that we split the data into two columns so that we have a new column called state. So select column C and select insert if state and what I'm going to do is to copy all the data from column B under geog title and paste it over here in the state column. And the idea is to get rid of everything that is not the name of a state. So how are we going to do that? Well, uh, the first thing that we can do here is, well, there's a couple of ways of doing it. What I'm going to do is to uh, highlight column C data and press Control F. And what I'm looking for is a comma, so I'm going to press the comma in the find box and it should take me to the first of the county level data rather than this stuff up here which is the statewide data and at this point I'm going to press control control shift and the down arrow to highlight all of that and then click on the data tab go to text to columns select delimited select next uncheck tab because that we don't need that and select comma and so what that's going to do is break this uh, those cells into two columns except we only need one column so select next and for the highlighted column it's highlighted black select do not import what will it leave it will leave us with just this column that says general click finish 
and there we go. Now I am going to click on the first cell above the word Alabama, which is in uh, C591, and I'm going to highlight up. And for these, I want to get rid of the word statewide plus that other extraneous stuff. So I'm going to press Control H, which is Find and Replace. And then I have to go up to Find What, and I'm going to tell it, find anything that has a space, two dashes or minus signs, another space, and the word statewide. And what am I going to replace that with? I'm going to replace that with nothing. Click Replace All, and 590 replacements were made. Click OK. So everything is all right, except if I go back to where I was, so starting at cell C592, I notice, unfortunately, there's a space before the word Alabama, and that that pattern repeats itself all the way down. There's an extra space. It's hard to notice that unless you are well practiced to see that there's no space in front of Alabama there, but in the one uh, down there, that first one, there is a space before the letter A in Alabama, the, the first letter A. So here's what I need to do. I'm going to come over here to column D, and I'm going to put in a temporary column. That was Alt, Insert, Column, or of course you could do it Home and Insert that way as well. And I'm going to call this Trim, because that's the formula that we're going to use to remove extraneous, the extra spaces. It's equals Trim, open parentheses, and then um, the cell that you want to trim out the extra spaces from. This one doesn't have one, but that's OK. It would trim it if it did. Now I'm going to press Control-C and copy this all the way down. That formula has removed any extra spaces, not the spaces in between words, which is an important distinction in this entire column. Now I press Control-C to copy it, paste it back over as values, or of course you can do it this way, with the paste values, but we want to paste values into column C there. Now we can just get rid of column D because we don't need that anymore and we will not have extraneous spaces. Those extraneous spaces are important to get rid of because uh, space Alabama is a different word than just plain Alabama. Okay, so our data is ready for uh, calculation now. Click somewhere in your data set and click Insert and Pivot Table and OK. A new sheet will appear, Sheet 1. You might want to call that Pivot. Oh, and the other thing you should have done was to save this as something else earlier. So I will save it here. Okay, so now that we have our pivot table, we only need to do a handful of things to process uh, our data. The first thing is to grab the state column and either drag it down into rows or just click on it. And then we have to sub, uh, remove those things that are not states. So uh, American Samoa is one of those, the Commonwealth of Northern Marianas. Uh, Guam, we need to take that out. Uh, we need to remove Puerto Rico uh, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And I probably forgot something. So I'm going to click OK and highlight my row, uh, my column of data here. And it says 51. So that's right because I'm leaving the District of Columbia in my analysis. The next thing that we want to do is to grab the NAICS codes, the North American Information Classification Codes for total, and we want to click on that, but it puts it in the row box, and we don't want it there. We want to click and drag it and put it in the columns box. That way we have, um, we'll get a total 
for fast food restaurants and a total for all businesses in columns B and C. The next thing that you want to do is to click on the employee sizes total and here we want to select only the rows of data that have all establishments. So click on select all and then reselect all establishments. Click OK and then drag that to the filters box. Now the only thing that we have left to add to our pivot table is establishments. So the number of businesses per state and if we wanted at this point we could also do this by counties and this is part of the reason why I'm showing it this way because you would want uh, perhaps a county level analysis as well but for the sake of simplicity we're doing just the states okay so we have exactly the data we want I want now to copy the data out and paste it in a, or a new sheet. So I'm clicking New Sheet. This is Sheet 3. We're going to call this Calculations, or just Calcs. And then we're going to paste the data here as values. I've shown you a couple of ways of doing that. Spread it out a little bit. And now all we have to do is to calculate the percentage of fast food businesses in the United States that are in Alabama and the percentage of all businesses that are in Alabama. Easy enough to do. Um, I'm going to go to the bottom here and take my grand total and move it. That's control X. Just one row down so we don't let our calculations ever touch our data. In this column, I'm going to calculate the percent of all businesses or all fast food establishments that are in Alabama. That is equals the value in cell B2 divided by the total of all fast food restaurants, which is in cell B54. And I'm going to press the F4 button that's on a PC, which includes now a dollar sign before the column reference B and a dollar sign before the row reference, which is 54, which freezes that. And then I'm just going to multiply it by 100 so it looks like a proper percent. And there's the answer. Next, we're going to repeat that but now it's percent all, once again, equals the value for Alabama divided by the value for the entire United States. Freeze it, multiply by 100, and there you go, 1.285. Now, the last bit is just location quotient. And the location quotient is expressed in this formula, and so the column D is the numerator, column E is the denominator, and LQ is, well, the answer. So all we have to do at this point is to divide the numerator by the denominator and multiply it by 100 to get an answer. Anything over 100 indicates a concentration that is above the national average and so Alabama has about what you might say 22 percent more fast food than you would expect than based on the national average. I'm going to copy these three formulas, double click which paste it to all of the rest of the columns. If you highlight this and look down in your sum at the lower right hand corner of your screen, it should come out to a very nice round number. Uh, at this point, I would argue that all you need to do is do some sorting on the location quotient to find states that have far less fast food or far more 
than the national average. And that ends this video tutorial.